Hi everyone, my name is Bridget and this is Liquid Amber Girl Gardening. And I have just cleaned up and redone my IKEA greenhouse cabinet with all these plants in it. And I'm really pleased with the way things turned out. If you would like to see where we started and how I got here, then stick around. And don't forget, please, please, please to like and subscribe to this channel if uh, you find this content entertaining. And make sure you comment below with any of your thoughts on the um, acrylic rainbows that I make or about any of the plants that you see here. I'm always happy to talk about plants. It doesn't take very long for things to get into a right state in this cabinet. I don't know <laughs> what kind of neglect I've got going on here, but I have several issues happening not several um the biggest one is with this hoya mauna loa and um i assume i bought it as a cutting or a rooted cutting and um it came as two pieces this and this this one is thriving you can see i hope it's hard for me to see how this is reading on the screen but you can see i hope that it's very deep green and contrasted with real beautiful creamy color um, new growth comes on bright pink and then fades well, you can still see some of the pink there fading down into the cream color there's the new growth back there and um, it's growing it's all this is all new from like here all the way down maybe up even higher all the way down is all new growth and that goes all the way back to there which is my Hoya Australis back there in the back this strand has continuously given me this um, random yellow leaf there's one here that's fallen and I just left because I knew I was gonna video and I wanted you to see um, and you can even see where where they came from here and there here was one I think there was one on the other side as well so um, there and it is giving me new growth on the end but like look at this leaf here that's acting like it shoot there's the phone hang on all right i'm back but i forget where we left off i just know we were talking about this um not as healthy strand of hoya mauna loa so um i do have new growth on the end it does look pretty healthy it's um, it's not as pink or anything, you know, it's not demonstrating that it's completely happy, but it's definitely a nice deep dark green and a nice creamy inside the leaf color there. Um, but I think, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this. And I think what I'm gonna do is probably, I hate to do it because this strand is doing so nicely. But I think I might pop it out of the pot just have a peek at the roots and see if we've got something going on down at the root level um, because obviously what's happening here isn't happening there and if I don't see anything um, going on with the roots and even if I do obviously I'll treat whatever I see happening but if I don't see anything terribly drastic um, I'm just going to make a cut somewhere I'm not sure where somewhere along here so that the roots aren't having to maintain a big huge plant because they're obviously not capable of that and I'm going to propagate so it'll be great I'll have something fun Hoyo to sell in my shop so I think that's what I'm going to do with this plant let's look at the rest of the things we have going on in here so in the back is Hoya Australis this was not here probably the last time I did a video I don't think this was on a different Hoya shelf that I have um, and I really wanted it to have to grow it wasn't really growing very well and I thought I'm gonna give it some light so man the light definitely caused some beautiful coloration I mean that is brilliant deep pink when its new growth comes out and then of course as you know it fades to the Hoya Australis coloring like that. So it definitely likes it in here. I think I'm going to leave that right where it is. This is Hoya Abovada. Some of the splash is starting to get a pinkish tinge, which Hoya Abovada can get 
pink or purple splash under highlight, which it definitely is getting here. It has wrapped around, going over, this is Hoya Vitalina, um, but this is still Hoya Abavada. And it comes up here and ends right there. And we do have a peduncle here, and there's a peduncle further down, but they keep blasting. So it's tried to bloom now, golly. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get this in, into focus. There it is. It looks pretty healthy right now. Um, but like I said, it has blasted every time it has tried to um, get that those blooms open. So I'm not sure what's what's gonna happen there. I may up pot this or I may save that for another video uh, maybe even another I don't know maybe I'll do it as a blog maybe I'll do it as Instagram I'm not sure I don't think I'm gonna repot it for this video but I do want to do that eventually too and then Hoya Vitalina well this plant is just a beast all of this growth that you're seeing here with this exception because that's the Hoya Abavada but all the rest of these are all coming off of this plant. Okay, this, wow. I got this Hoya from, um, my husband won it on eBay. And he won it for me as like an anniversary surprise gift. And it is, it is such a fantastic grower. I mean, look the size of the leaves. They're starting to really take off here. They're pretty decently huge I mean that's basically the size of the palm of my hand and I have big huge man hands okay and the color that it takes on when it sun stresses is just beautiful that's what's happening back here when you see those speckles um, it is just a fantastic plant a fantastic grower doesn't complain I do have some peduncles on there but they haven't really done anything why is that not wanting to focus very well? Let's open the door. Hang on. Um, there's one. I'm not getting it in frame very well. There. So there's not much going on there. I have a peduncle here. And several others. There's a bigger one right back here. I think you can see. Yeah. And it looks beautiful. Got a little bit of the sappy, uh, moist stuff that Hoyas like to make when they're putting out Hoya blooms. But um, yeah, it's, it is a beast. So that is one of my most favorite Hoya. I'm not really going to do anything with this one. Um, I'm going to sweep up underneath it if you can see the glass. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. And the glass needs to be cleaned. So moving down to the second shelf, this is Rangsan, Hoya Rangsan. It already bloomed. And I have a bunch more peduncles. This guy thought he was going to die. <laughs> so he threw out a whole just, you know... A whole bunch of Hail Mary blooms here in the the um, effort to make sure that he doesn't die but um, I didn't let that happen so I think maybe we were dealing with a little bit of root rot uh, this is a difficult Hoya in my opinion it's hard sometimes to know because these leaves are so firm I mean you can see I'm pressing in the middle of the leaf and it doesn't even bend in the least um, and that's kind of just how they are. They have a strange growth pattern where they will, you know, just like these peduncles are all kind of crazy. We've got two coming off of the same um, spot here, here. They're just, it's a strange plant. It'll do that same kind of growth pattern with its leaves. Not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying um, it took us a little while to get used to each other. And here is one of my peacefully domino this is being watered right now as you can see she's sad so i need to remove a dead leaf off of there in the back and i have a dead leaf right over here on this is monstera celtipicana 
got a dead leaf back there to clean up and then the whole shelf this is um, just water deposit because I have a humidifier back there and I think I'm gonna insert a little clip so you can see hopefully right here while I'm talking you can see how fantastic this little humidifier looks when I turn it on at night and the grow lights are off it is I mean it's some kind of vibe seriously because we'll be watching television or just hanging out in the living room and having that on is so much fun so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and let this soak up a little bit more water before I get that bowl out of there I'm just bottom watering and then let's look at the shelf below oh before I do go to the shelf below this is um, one of the acrylic rainbows that I make let me put it here so you can see the colors a little bit better it's not beautiful but that was kind of like winter colors I had blues in here and I have a gold one down here uh, right here love that one that was kind of like Christmas and then just winter oh well who cares I'm gonna pick it up in a little bit and then just a random Valentine's one <laughs> it was really time for me to redecorate in here for sure so um, I think all of these Hoya are gonna be new to you except for um, I'm not sure let, let me just show you what I have and then I'm gonna have to go back and check what I videoed before to even know what to update you on this is Hoya Carry Eye. Nothing really going on here. Um, this could be some nutrient deficiency from the fact that I wasn't really um, feeding too much in the winter time. Or it could just be closeness to the light. So definitely get some warm castings in here. And also upping the amount of fertilizer that I feed this plant with and see if that kind of helps. Uh, also, it just needs a kick in the pants to just get started growing again because we've had this just for quite a while, actually. And below that, below that we have my Callistophylla, which I saved from a root rot situation, I think. I'm almost positive. That's a, a video from a while back, but I will try to remember to link it. You should have a link right up there it is okay and um, so I need to clip this off I left those leaves on there for as long as they could feed the plant and um, I'm gonna clip that off and we're just gonna start over I'm hoping that the actual act of clipping that dead growth off of there will encourage some new growth because I haven't had any new growth from this one yet but you know what it's the beginning of March it's go time for the house plants. So I expect big things out of Callistophylla this year. And then behind that is Hoya affinis. And this, wow, this plant is beastly. As you can see, I don't know how many times it's been wrapped around these two poles that I have in here. They're just um, bamboo stakes that I wrapped with um, jute twine. Cause I like the way it looks. So anyway, they just keep, I just keep looping it around and around and we have several different growth points like this here. I have one that's growing up into the cord there. There's another back there. There's, there are several of them. So I just, every once in a while, I come in here and grab a loose end and tie it down. But uh, no blooms, no talk of blooms from this one yet. And I've read that Hoya affinis likes to be pretty well mature before it will give you blooms so I'm just gonna keep letting it do its thing here and uh, it's a really good Hoya though it's nice nice leaf size it's got some pretty good fuzziness on the bottoms of the leaves it's a nice plant and then below that is one of my absolute most favorite Hoyas that's not one of it part of it this is Hoya Helwigiana I um, have some new growth on the end here, but nothing fantastic yet. Still just waiting for her to kind of wake up from winter. That one was here, I know, but I'm thinking you probably haven't seen Hoya Kalimantan. This is a type of a Callistophylla, if you didn't know that. 
its actual full title would be Hoya Callistophylla um, Kalimantan. Am I saying that right? Kalimantan. I'm probably not, but anyway, absolutely stunning leaves. I mean, they're huge and it has a whole lot of growth. All of this was put out since I got it. So I'm thinking this one is ready to grow and it's probably really wanting something um, to tie, wanting me to tie this new growth to something before it's gonna wanna start putting out leaves. So I really need to get like a small trellis, something that won't be so huge that it knocks over my crazy tiny pot. I don't know. If you have any ideas, please comment below. Next to that is Hoya Larissa. This is also new to you, and yes, if you have watched my um, favorites video, this was on my, I'm sorry, not my favorites, my wish list video, this was on my wish list, and I got it, <laughs> and I am, I'm in love. This, it's everything you could ever want, or at least anything I could ever want in a Hoya. It's beautiful. Look at the splashing. It does have veins, has a nice oval shape. And um, I think it's going to be real happy here, I hope. But anyway, it's brand new to me. I've had it for like two months and uh, really, really, really excited. But I just have to keep squishing more Hoyas in here. And so <laughs> uh, we're going to be out of room real quickly. But I'm really excited to show you this next plant. Sorry, um, hubby and the kids came home from school. And so Tilly being a dog, got really excited about that. So let me show you what I was talking about. Sorry, the door makes a lot of weird noises. <laughs> but um, this is my Hoya Baibua. And look at this glorious new leaf. Isn't that just beautiful? I can't stop looking at it. And I'm so proud because we just grew this. I say we because we did it together. You know what I'm saying? Not really. The plant did it all by itself, but these are the leaves that came with the plant there and there and here. And this is its newest leaf that basically hasn't even hardened off all the way yet. It's still kind of soft to the touch. And I know that these are very firm leaves once they are um, mature, once they harden off. So it is just, it's gorgeous. And it's, um, I, I couldn't be happier. It is such a beautiful plant. Um, and then I have one more to show you. And that's this tiny cutting. I got this from Etsy. And we're just trying to get some roots. It's a Hoya Sunrise. And um, just trying to see if that'll give me some good roots sometime soon, hopefully. It's definitely warming up in the cabinet now that we have some pretty consistently warmer temperatures. But like I said, it's really cramped and everything in there also. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see how I'm able to redecorate. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the things we just talked about and I'll check back in with you. While I'm cleaning out the greenhouse, let me show you just really quickly how I make my acrylic rainbows. It's really simple. I use resin, which is two parts. I start with the actual resin and I add a hardener. And once those are mixed, I can pour them into molds. I use silicone baking molds because they're flexible and I can get the pieces out easily after they've hardened. Sometimes there are a lot of bubbles in this and so I use a heat gun just to try and get some of the bubbles out of there because some of them will pop before the acrylic hardens up but a lot of them won't if I don't do this step. Adding alcohol inks is the next step and it's any colors that you like. I call mine acrylic rainbows because generally I'm mixing a lot of colors together, but this time I'm wanting to make these kind of look like Easter egg colors. So I've chosen really pastel colors and also I'm kind of keeping them all pinks or all yellows and I'm going to try to place them around the plants so it'll be like hunting for Easter eggs. I don't know, just an idea I had and I think it'll be cute. 
When it's time to take these out of the molds, which is a full 60 hours or three full days later, you just simply peel the mold back because it's silicone. It's very um, flexible. And there I have my finished acrylic rainbow. They're really beautiful. You can view them kind of from the side and see how the um, alcohol ink has traveled from the what was the top through to what we'll view as the top. I love them. I think they're really fun. Let's take this pretty thing and we're going to put it in the cabinet up here. Yeah, that's pretty. So what the look I was kind of going for was that I want um, my new rainbows to look kind of like Easter eggs, slightly hidden in the foliage that just brings straight Easter vibes to my mind and my heart because that was what we always did as children um, was an Easter egg hunt and so it just brings me great joy plus we all know that I'm absolutely wild for colors all of them so <laughs> anyway the top shelf I still have not repotted this that's going to be happening soon though I did cut this if you haven't followed me on Instagram you should because that video is over there on my Instagram and nothing really got done with this guy except I just um, cleaned up the shelf so there's just one um, acrylic rainbow there and it's kind of like a bright blue and then the second shelf down we have a bright yellow it's in front of the little humidifier I have in the back and all the plants are exactly the same. The sky is watered and happy again. I did notice that the new growth that's coming in has a bit, a lot bigger patches of white variegation. This is a domino piece lily. And so I imagine it's just um, the grow lights, even though it's all the way up here, it's enough for this piece lily to recognize it as brighter, more light and uh, so it's giving a little bit more variegation on the leaves. It's really beautiful. I love this plant, I really do. And then I have two other acrylic rainbows here. I have this kind of lime green. My camera's not really picking that up. It just doesn't look nearly as pretty. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bring it over here, lay it on the shelf, and you can see how lovely it is because it is really pretty. It's actually one of my favorites of the five that I made. I really like that one. So let me put him back. There is a purple one there, which of course there are two purple pots. I have this one and that pot back there is one that I hand lacquered with a like glittery purple lacquer. And Hoya Rangsan, I cleaned that plant up. We had a lot of little weird things hanging off of the peduncle from the last bloom they just they didn't all of the little flower buds didn't bloom so anyway moving down to oh i think this is new i have in the past had it in the corner over here and i just moved it over there because it's pretty with the light coming up through it in my opinion and the bottom shelf we have the hoya affinis i did cut Hoya calistophylla. I'm hoping that that cut will encourage some new growth this growing season and hopefully I'll get it back to what it looked like when I actually received the plant <laughs> instead of uh, less leaves which is wow it hurts me <laughs> but um, there's the baibua with that lovely lovely big leaf um, and two growing points although this looks like it's dried up Maybe we're going to take over here. It's hard to say what that thing will do. Hoya Larissa, lovely as ever. Here's a really light pink, like pastel. I think the alcohol ink color that I used on that was called Flamingo. And that's exactly what shade that is. Just like a flamingo. There's um, Kalimantan. That is Hoya Sunrise. Hoya Guiana. And Hoya Carii. So I'm really happy with the way this all turned out. 
I'm not going to leave it alone like this because I don't have any of my humidity readers in there. I usually have one on the top shelf and one on the bottom shelf. And yes, they are different. The temperature is always different in this cabinet. It's usually warmer on top. Well, science tells us that's how it should be, so that's good. And um, I usually have fans. So those will be squeezed back in and probably when that happens, these will be moved out. But I'm going to leave them for a while just because they please me. So I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. I certainly had fun doing it. My cabinet certainly needed to be a little cleaned out like a spring cleaning. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.